guys, today it's time for another Top 5 Wednesday. Today's topic are your top 5 mothers or maternal figures and I mean if you read a lot of YA you know that it is definitely not an easy topic because most of the time the mothers are dead, abandoned their kids or are just in general very much absent. But I thought because of that it was even more fun to find like my top 5 maternal figures and yeah, let's just get into my ranking. My number five is Queen Emily from the Selection Trilogy and I did not only choose her because I think she is a great mother to Maxon, but also because I really felt like she was a maternal figure for basically the whole Selection girls or just, you know, like the elite more or less, like the top people that were still in there. I really thought that she was kind of someone that gave them a really like motherly feeling while they were, you know, gone from home and I don't know I just really really liked her and really liked the things she said she said some really wise things she was overall always very understanding because of her own past she is an interesting character I really really liked her our number four is Rosa Huberman from the book thief and she is a really really interesting maternal figure which I think you really have to get used to I remember that in the beginning I really couldn't stand her I just didn't really understand where she came from but when when I got into the read I was more and more understanding of her and I think she really went through a development and it is really nice to see her develop that way and to see her just really starting to kind of connect with Liesl a lot more and I just really really like that about her. I think she is just so very interesting and she's not like this perfect mother but I like her because she is not that and I really like how we definitely get to like her a lot more throughout the book just as Liesl does. My number three is Annabelle from the Geeka series. So far I have only read the first two books in that series but I have already fallen in love with Annabelle. I think she is just such a great friend and yeah kind of mother for Harriet and I really enjoy that she is not trying to be a mother for Harriet I think in the end she really is and definitely feels like a mother for Harriet for the most part but I don't feel like that is her main goal she wants to be a friend she wants to be someone that Harriet can talk to when she has any problems I just really really enjoy that about her I think it is the interesting thing about her that she doesn't want to be a maternal figure for her she just wants to to be there for her and whatever Harriet then feels comfortable with is what you know she is happy with yeah I really really like that about her I think she is also just the kind of perfect partner for her dad I think it just works really well because her dad is just very chill about many things and very kind of not very strict about many things whereas in this position she does try and act like a mother and be more strict with things that you just have to be strict about when it comes to a child or a teenager. My number two is Miss Honey from Matilda. Miss Honey is another super super interesting character where it really felt like Miss Honey and Matilda were two people that just found each other. Like they were made to be together I feel like and I just really really enjoy also the development. I enjoy just Miss Honey's character in general. She feels like so vulnerable and really like when she finds Matilda it is not like Matilda leans on her and is like okay I need a mother and you are like the perfect person to feel like a maternal figure for me but I also feel like Miss Honey is kind of leaning on Matilda in a very very positive way and she really needed Matilda as well to break free of many many things and I think when it comes to the next book it is probably definitely on every Everybody's list this week and there's many many maternal figures to choose from this series but I have decided to go with Molly Weasley from obviously the Harry Potter series as I said I think there are so many maternal figures you could go with it in this I mean you have obviously Lily Potter which I didn't want to choose because I just feel like she, we don't get enough of her we know she did a great, great job but we don't really see her as a mother I also absolutely love Narcissa Malfoy I think she is another incredibly interesting character and another one that is definitely a great mother but Molly Weasley is just someone that we as readers feel really really close to and that we see most of and that is just the most amazing 
person with the biggest heart ever. We not only see her as a mother for obviously like her thousands of children, but we also see her being a maternal figure for Harry. And I really, really love that. It's another one where I feel like Molly just wants to be there as much as she can for Harry. And she knows she's not going to be a mother for him, but she still does her best to make him feel home at the Weasley house, to make him feel like he really has a family. She sends him presents and she's just there for him all the time. She really cares for him. And yeah, there's so many great moments in the series with Molly. And I think every single person really totally celebrated the part where Molly killed Bellatrix. Not my daughter, you bitch. I thought this is such a good amazing moment and it shows that Molly is not only there to be like a mother and a maternal figure she is strong she is a witch she can fight and she can fight for her family she's there for her family she loves her family and Harry is definitely included in that and I love Molly so much for that so these were my top five maternal figures definitely let me know what some of your favorite mothers or maternal figures are I would love to know in the comments as I said I do feel like we don't get to see them very often especially in YA so I always love to hear about some and yeah thank you so so much for watching I guess I'll see you soon